I'm Dina Cuthbert with your one o'clock update from CBS13.com. Breaking news out of Elk Grove, a missing elderly couple has been found safe. Dale and Donna Sassman, both in their late 70s, left their home on Bradshaw Road around 6.30 last night. They were seen in the Lincoln area just after midnight, but the good news, they have been found, and again, they are okay. Two hours from now, members of Black Lives Matter will be protesting outside of the Sacramento County District's Attorney's Office, and they are demanding the DA file criminal charges against the two Sacramento police officers who fatally shot Stephon Clark. The protesters will be met by new fencing put up around the DA's office and a garage. Firefighters came under fire and were forced to take cover while battling a house fire in Los Angeles. Firefighters were gunshots after knocking down these flames early this morning. The suspect was arrested after a two hour standoff. Authorities found a 50 year old woman who was fatally shot inside that burned home. The suspect rolled out a, on a gurney with a self inflicted gunshot wound. Carlos Correa is in Lodi with an inspirational story today. A former student here at Lodi High School is giving his teacher one big surprise. In high school, Stephen Moss says he was a hoodlum. He didn't take school serious. He often cut class and never received a grade higher than a B. That is until he met 10th grade geometry teacher Linda Brandt. Today he stopped by her front door after 25 years with a gift to thank her for turning his life around and he hopes it will inspire other students to go to college. Meet Stephen Ma and the teacher who inspired him today on CBS 13. And be sure to check back with CBS13.com and watch the CBS 13 News today at 4 for the very latest.